Hello, class. Uh, today, we're going to do we're going to take a look at uh, GeoGebra and how to graph two lines that are parallel and cut by transversal. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my apps. I'm going to go if I don't have this GeoGebra app, I just have to download it in the web store. But if I do have it, I'm just going to click it right away. And now it brings me to my front screen on GeoGebra online. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to select the geometry view, which is the center one. And it's just going to give me a basic flat screen in GeoGebra. It's very, it's just basic tools, and that's all we need for today. Uh, what we do want to work with, we want to work with these tools up top, and this is these are nice because we want to start working with the line tool. So we want to go to the third tool in. We will select line, and now what we have to do down below it always gives you the direction of what to do with that tool. So a line, I have to select two points if I want to make this line. So I'm going to come all the way to the bottom, and you guys can do it exact opposite. It really doesn't matter. You can create a line in the middle. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, I'm going to select a point, and then if you notice, I need two points to make this line. I'm going to stretch these points as far as I can actually see them on the screen. So I have point A and then bang, point B. So that's my line first of all. Now, if I want to get off of the line tool or any other tool, I have to select a new tool that I want. This is my cursor, which is my move tool. So if I really wanted, I could highlight this line. I can drag it up, down, left, right. It really doesn't matter. But I want to keep it right about there because now what I have to do, in order to create a parallel line, I need another point. So I want to take a line and make it parallel to this one, but I need a point in which it runs through. So I'm so going to select the second tool in, which is the point tool, and I'm going to just place a point. Bang. So now I have my line. A, B, and my point C. The last thing I have to do now is to make my parallel lines, I have to select all the way over the fourth tool in, the second one down, which says parallel line. When I click that, and you notice I have two parallel lines here, I have to select a point and a parallel line. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to select point C, because I want it to run through point C, and then it has to be parallel to line A, B. So I select line A, B. And after I do that, I now have a parallel line up here. So it's pretty simple. Uh, what I can do is I can select my move tool again. I can drag C anywhere. And as anywhere I take line C, it's still going to be parallel to AB. But I want to stretch it out a little bit. So I'm going to run C as far up as I can with keeping it on the screen. And now what I have to do is I'm going to create one more line that cuts through both of these. So what I do here is I'm going to stretch these points out again, just like I did for line AB. Select point D. And here's point E. So now I have three sets of lines. These two, C and then AB, are then cut by line DE. I'm going to select my point tool again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one more point on line C. Stretch it out, and that's point F. And then the final step that I have to do for both of these lines is I have to place intersections, which are points where the two lines intersect. So, in order to do that, I'm going to go back to my tools, and in the second one in, I have this intersection tool. I'm going to click that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I highlight both lines, so select the two objects, this is what I'm reading down here, or click directly on the intersection. So, I highlight both these lines, they both light up, I click, point G is my intersection, and now I come down to the last two lines down here, and point H is my intersection. So that was your brief little uh, synopsis of how to set up parallel lines that are cut by a transversal. In the next really quick video, uh, what we're going to do is actually show you how to move these and how to measure the angles.